Hey everybody, this is Sully with Five Freaking Onion Rings. Today, I want to show just how good DaVinci Resolve's audio is, especially with the new noise removal and uh, auto ducking. So basically, I'm using a different lens this time, so I am three times this distance, about six and a half, seven feet away from my tripod and my camera and my microphone that's sitting up there. I have a fan over there. I'm going to turn it to regular audio that's straight out of the camera right here. And then I'm going to turn it back to good audio because DaVinci does some freaking amazing stuff. Okay, so we're just going to jump in here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is straight out of the camera. By the way, if you don't do audio transcriptions, they're amazing. But this is straight out of the camera. I'm going to hit play. This is unedited. Doesn't track well. Uh, that is one thing I will say. GH5, not best in tracking autofocus. And as you can see, you can barely hear it. So first off, we're going to highlight which of all your audio files. Right click. We're going to normalize levels. Hit it one time. You want to use ITURBS 17... 70-4, that's the best one I've found, and target level negative 3, and target loudness negative 16, LKFS, independent, and that will normalize each clip to about the same area, even though some of them, like this one, will be at 1750, that's 17 extra, this one's at about 20 extra, and it keeps it kind of level. Now there, there are tips to make this all sound even. And that's what that's what the rest of this is about. So once you've normalized, you can hear. Um, yeah, so on the GH5 again, I like that. Using the app so I can film myself, which I like that. I yeah, you can hear me being weird, but that's just what I do. You're going to jump over to Fairlight. Here's where the fun comes in. And I'm doing this real time, by the way, so if it takes me a second, I'm on audio track three. If you don't see voice isolation, dialogue, dialogue, blah, 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 go up here, click the three dots, come down to visible track effects, and I just turned all of mine on. Now, I don't typically use dialogue separator. I tried it earlier. I don't like it as much, but it's pretty good. I mean, you can try it. And don't use dialogue leveler that much, but I do use voice isolation, music remixer, and ducker. But um, I put them all up because I, I like to play around a lot. So first off, we're just saying voice isolation, and we're going to give that a try. Using the app so I can film myself, which I like that. Um, what do they call that? Whatever it is, it shows what's in focus. And you see, that's like a remarkable improvement just off the top. I mean, heck, you could, depending on your, your out-of-camera audio, that is 99%. What I do to make things sound a little more e even, I change mine to FX, EQ, and DY uh, dynamics instead of FX, Dynamics, and EQ, because I found that doing the EQ first before Dynamics makes things a little bit easier. And what I'll end up doing is going into the Equalizer, clicking Band 1 to get a filter. Uh, is this a low-pass or a high-pass filter? I always forget which one it is. You can also use um, Male Lab Finisher. That one gives you a really good off the top, but once you hit Play, which I like that a lot. It's so much easier. You can get so. that. You want to drag the filter until you take some of the muddiness out. With a speed booster, so I'm at 1.3. Thought I'd do wide open to get some really shallow depth of field. Now, if you hear there, it gets really thin, and you want to go that far, and then you want to go backwards from there. Feel. One thing I like about Panasonic and Sony and the other ones, and, and Canon's fine until you get it kind of a full full feeling, but you don't want the, all those low muddy stuff. So that's the first off. Um, this one's actually a pretty good curve, to be honest. So lab finisher, if not, you, you're going to take the middle up a little bit and take the high up, make it a little excited. Uh, that is really about it for EQ. Which I like that a lot, it's so much easier. And that makes it sound pretty good so far. That's that's pretty easy so far. Now you're going to double click on Dynamics, make sure it's turned on. Here's where my magic happens that I like, and I found this recently, and I have an ASMR channel um, that's growing like crazy. That's the secret channel I talk about in this video, but nobody watched the video. You want to ratio up to about four 
and you want the knee, I sometimes just turn the knee up. But what this does is start to, it, it drops your gain. So as things get louder, they, they start to kind of even off and it rolls off at the top. Now that's important because like I say, all our volumes are slightly uh, different. Yeah. So we're just pushing up, and you'll see how the gain reduction here comes down. And I'm using an 85 millimeter 1.8 cannon with a speed booster, so I'm at 1. And I try to get it to where it's not clipping or getting high. It won't clip until you get to that red line. It won't. It won't clip. So as long as you're like right there, you don't have to worry about clipping. It just starts to sound bad. Three. Thought I'd do wide open to get some really shallow depth of field. One thing I like about pen see how that clipped when you go up higher, but it doesn't clip when you when you get up, and you don't have to use a limiter, which can sometimes sound artificial. So what I'll end up doing is pushing it up by as high as I can. You can do an expander, which um, yeah, I, I just don't like it. That's the thing. So I, I keep it simple. Just push the Make up, up a bit, make sure you have a knee, put your ratio somewhere around three, between three and four. Um, that'll just round it off. You can go higher, but it makes it more round. And it'll bring up the, the lows, which this will sound kind of weird. Zebra, but the green, um, what do they call that? Whatever it is, it shows what's in focus. So right now I can tell. It's not quite as good when you do the, the ratio too high. So about three, three and a half and make the knee, you know, you just want to round out. Um, sometimes 100% is fine, uh, just not that. You don't, you know, you don't want to clip because it'll it'll go loud and then suddenly you, you just hear it and that's that's the problem. Oh, not in focus, in focus. And I didn't want autofocus to come on because sometimes it doesn't track well. So in this case, you know, I'm about plus six and 0.6, compressors up, knees up, and honestly, that will do about 99% of your audio editing for most of your voiceover. When you have better audio, and, and actually this audio that I'm doing here is on a different microphone, a much better microphone, closer, it's about three inches from my mouth, but it will work so much better. Your 1.8 Canon with a speed booster, so I'm at 1.3. But that's really the easiest way. This is the EQ that I used for the original Deity microphone. So I used a little bit more exciter there, but that's about it. I mean, it's it's so simple. Voice isolation really is the key to this. You can use dialogue leveler. I meant dialogue separator. I like that. I'm so this one, you can allow um, your voice to come through, take out your background oh, noise. So so, oh you can leave in some ambience. Leave an ambience if you want. Booster, so I'm at 1.3. Thought I'd do wide. So here you turn it all the way up. You can hear the background because I'm in an untreated room. It's just drywall. Open to get some really shallow. And you hear the reefer, but you can take that back. Depth of feel. One thing I like about and what it does is basically the same thing as voice isolation, but it gives you a chance a little bit more dexterity. About Panasonic and Sony and the other ones, and, and Canon's finally jumped on, is that they have, uh, what's that called? And that's my fan, by the way, which is loud as heck. Up. It's called a silent fan. It is not silent. But the green, whatever it is, it shows what's in focus. But you can hear it. Dialogue separator, I like it. I just, it's so much easier to use voice isolator. It really is. Voice isolation is just so much easier. And then Music Remixer and Ducker, I've got to do another video on just those two because they are phenomenal tools, um, especially if you're into music. Oh my goodness. But that's going to wrap it up today. I'm going to let this play out uh, if you want to see the rest of this video I was working on. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good one. I just put out the worst video ever, got the least number of likes, least number of views, least number of everything. So if you want to go dislike it, it'll be up there. And I thought I would do a useful video in the hopes that somebody might watch it. Because the last video I did had like 10 hits. 10. It might have 20 now, but it's been, it's old. And it's, uh, man, that was, that was heartbreaking. I don't know if it's me or it's me. Yeah. But anyway, thought I would do something useful this time.